The 2010 Philippine House of Representatives elections were held on May 10, 2010 to elect members to the House of Representatives of the Philippines to serve in the 15th Congress of the Philippines from June 30, 2010 to June 30, 2013. The Philippines uses parallel voting for seats in the House of Representatives. A voter has two votes, one for a representative from one's legislative district, and another for a sectoral representative via closed lists under the party list system, with a 2% election threshold and three-seat cap. When the parties with 2% of the national vote or more not meeting the 20% of the total seats, parties with less than 2% of the vote will get one seat each until the 20% requirement is met. In district elections, 229 single-member districts elect one member of the House of Representatives. The candidate with the highest number of votes wins the district seat. In the party list election, parties will dispute 57 seats. In all, the 15th Congress will have 286 members, with 144 votes being the majority. No party entered candidates in all districts, but only Lacas Campi CMD entered enough candidates to win an outright majority. By May 21, GMA News and Public Affairs, based on their partial and unofficial tally, had Lacas Campi CMD with the party with the most seats with 109, followed by the Liberal Party with 43, the Nationalist People's Coalition had 33, and the Nationalist Party had 25. The other parties garnered 13 seats. This includes candidates who switched parties after the campaign period has begun, while excluding party list representatives. In the party list election, Ako Bicol Political Party topped the election getting 5% of the national vote and won three seats, but their proclamation was delayed as a disqualification case against them was brought up. Their first three nominees were subsequently seated with the dismissal of the case. As much as 43 other parties qualified to win seats, and all but two were yet to be seated due to pending disqualification cases. Despite being the party leader and winning a congressional seat in Pampanga, Lacas Campi CMD leader and sitting president Gloria Macapagal Arroyo had reportedly declined to run as speaker and as fielding Edsel Lagman of Albay on the basis of term sharing with Danilo Suarez of Quezon if they win the speakership. Meanwhile, the Liberals will be fielding in former Speaker Feliciano Belmonte Jr. of Quezon City, who was also a former Lacas Campi member. Incumbent Speaker Prospero Negrales is barred from seeking office in the House after serving three consecutive terms. He was defeated in the Davao City mayoralty election, although his son successfully kept his father's seat. Notable celebrities who won include Imelda Marcos, KBL, Alocos Norte II, Lani Mercado, Lacas Campi, Cavite II, Lucy Torres, Liberal, Leyte IV, and Manny Pacquiao, PCM, Sarangani. With the Liberals, Nationalist is, the NPC, a faction of Lacas Campi, other minor parties and most of the party list groups voting for him, Belmonte was easily elected as Speaker, with 227 votes, as compared to 29 votes of Lagman. District changes There are several new districts, most notable is the redistricting of Cavite from three legislative districts to seven. Only the old 1st District remained intact, except for Bacor being separated and being named as the new 2nd District, all other districts were redistricted anew. The election in the Dinagat Islands is in limbo as the Supreme Court earlier ruled that the Dinagat Islands creation as a province from Surigao del Norte was unconstitutional for not having met the provisions of the Constitution on population and land area. However, the Court S decision has yet to be final pending motions for reconsideration, and the Commission allowed the elections to take place. If the Supreme Court finalizes its decision on the dissolution of the Dinagat Islands, the provincial level and congressional elections held in both areas, and in the areas they were originally carved from will be voided and new elections will take place. This will be for Surigao del Norte. S. Province level positions, and the 1st Congressional District of the Province. City and municipal level elections and the 2nd District Congressional election will not be affected. If the decision is upheld, there will be 58 sectoral representatives. Malolos, which was supposed to have its own congressional district from Bulacan. S. First District, but it was nullified with finality by the Supreme Court for having insufficient population. 
However, the ballots for both Malolos and the 1st District excluding Malolos were printed after the decision was finalized. As such, the elections for representative in Malolos and the 1st District were deferred, and voting done on May 10 was invalidated, and an election will be scheduled solely for the representative. S position, all positions elected were upheld, with Malolo's first eight councillor candidates winning seats in the city council, as opposed to the ten originally provided in the enabling law. Retiring and term limited incumbents As of now, there are 68 representatives that are either term limited or retiring from Congress. Campaign Campaigns in House of Representatives elections are usually conducted on a district-by-district -district basis, there is no nationwide campaign. The races are between local politicians in the districts, and their allegiances and parties may switch from their announcement on the intention to run, registering as a candidate, printing out of ballots, election day and from the convening of the 15th Congress. The sitting president's party usually controls the House of Representatives no matter the election result. The Lacas Campi titular head, President Arroyo, became the first president to run for a seat in the House of Representatives after her term as president. The party had the most number of candidates, and was the only party that can win an outright majority as the other parties did not ran in a majority of the seats. Lacas Campi aimed to secure enough votes to impeach 96 as leverage if their presidential candidate Gilberto Teodoro does not win. The Liberal Party chose former Lacas Campi stalwart and Quezon City Mayor Feliciano Belmonte Jr. as their candidate for the speakership. Belmonte, a former speaker while being a member of Lacas CMD, one of the two parties that formed Lacas Campi, defected to the Liberals before the election. The Nationalista Party would also field a candidate for the speakership. The Nationalist People S coalition usually supports the policies of the sitting president, while the sectoral representatives, except for those leaning to the left, also support whomever is in power. The other parties that fielded candidates on the presidential election would support their own presidential candidate, but it is unknown if they would. They supported the party of the winning president, these parties fielded candidates in a minority of seats. Notable races Ilocos Region Ilocos Norte First, incumbent Roque Ablin Jr. is ineligible for re-election after serving three consecutive terms. His son, Christian Ablin is running against former representative Rodolfo Fariñas. Fariñas is running under the Nationalista Party and is backed by the Marcos clan. Fariñas won with just over 50% of the vote. Ilocos Norte II, former First Lady Imelda Marcos is running for Congress once again this time in her son's seat. Incumbent Ferdinand Marcos Jr. is retiring and running for the Senate. Imelda was formerly the representative for the 1st District of Leyte from 1995 to 1998. Marcos won with 80% of the vote. Pangasinan I, Arthur Celeste is not seeking re-election. As such, six candidates are buying the open seat. The main candidates are Arthur's brother Jesus running under the Lacas Campi CMD and former GMA Network investigative journalist and reporter Maki Pulido running under the Pursa ng Masong Pilipino. Celeste beat Pulido by around 25,000 votes while failing to win via majority. Pangasinan II, liberal incumbent Victor Agbayani is running for governor of Pangasinan. The liberals are fielding Arthur Karanangan as their nominee for the seat. Seven candidates are running for the open seat. Former Citizen's Battle Against Corruption, CIBAC, party list representative Kim Bernando Loken of the Nationalist People's Coalition, NPC, will face notably former Philippine National Police Director and Colonel Leopoldo Batawil of the Lacas Campi CMD. Batawil, despite having 36,000 vote lead against Loken, only got 39% of the vote. Pangasinan IV, former House Speaker Jose de Venecia Jr. has served for three consecutive terms, and is thus ineligible for re-election. His wife Gina de Venecia will run for his seat in the 4th District under the Nationalist People's Coalition, NPC. 
She will face two independent candidates namely Alejandro Decano and Celia Lim. De Venecia won with just under two-thirds of the votes cast. Cordillera Administrative Region Of Fugao, Governor Teodoro Baguilat Jr. is not seeking re-election. Instead, he will run for the open congressional seat of the province. He will face six other contenders in the election. Baguilat won with 28% of the votes cast. Central Luzon Bulacan first, after being seated by the Comelec after successfully challenging the result of the 2007 gubernatorial election, Roberto Pagdanganan aims to win a seat in Congress against incumbent Ma. Victoria Sai Alvarado. After several delays, due to the re-addition of Malolos into the district after the creation of its own at-large district unconstitutional, the election was held on November 13, with Sai Alvarado winning with 69% of the vote. Pampanga II, incumbent President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo is aiming to be the first president to be elected to a lower office after her presidential tenure. President Arroyo won with 84% of the vote. Metro Manila Malabon, Josephine Laxon Noel is the last representative for the Malabon Navotas district. She was seated after the House Electoral Tribunal ruled that she won the 2007 election over Alvin Sandoval after a recount. Now she will run again for the city's first lone congressional representation under the Nationalist People's Coalition NPC. She will face former representative and elder brother of Alvin, Federico Sandoval II of Lacas Campi CMD. Sandoval run unsuccessfully for mayor of Navotas City in 2007. Sandoval finished third, behind PMPs Arnold Vicencio and Laxon Noel who got 40% of the vote. Muntinlupa, two-term Senator Rodolfo Biazan is running for a seat in the lower house against former broadcast journalist Dong Puno in a seat vacated by Biazan's son Ruffy, who is running for the Senate. Puno unsuccessfully ran for Congress in 2001, for the Senate and in 2007 for the same congressional district. They would also be facing three other candidates, namely incumbent Count Lake Espolita, Atty. Ray Bule and an unknown candidate. Senator Biazan won with 46% of the vote against Puno. S27%. Quezon City first, Vincent. Bing bong. Crisologo is the incumbent. He was challenged by Vivian Tan, daughter of business tycoon Lucio Tan as an independent. Tan was disqualified on April 23, 2010, by the Court of Appeals for not being a Filipino citizen however the ruling is not yet finalized, pending appeal. Crisologo won 60.78% of the vote as compared to Tan's 23.66%. Taguig, incumbent Henry Duenas Jr. is not running for re-election. Those contesting the seat he is vacating are outgoing Mayor Sigfrido Tiña of the Liberal Party, and Angelito Reyes, son of Secretary of Energy Angelo Reyes, who ran against Duenas in 2007 under the local party Lincoln Taguig. Reyes was recently declared the winner of the 2007 election by the House Electoral Tribunal on February 28, 2010, with the Electoral Tribunal ruling that Reyes defeated Henry Duenas by a margin of 57 votes. The Board of Canvassers originally declared Duenas the winner with 28,564 votes over Reyes 27,107 for a margin of 1,457. Former Mayor Sigfrido Tiña defeated Reyes via a landslide. Calabarzon. Batangas first, Executive Secretary Eduardo Ermita is running for Congress as her daughter, Eileen Ermita Bahane is ineligible for re-election. Ermita resigned as Executive Secretary on February 25, 2010, after the Supreme Court ruled that all appointive officials running for office are deemed resigned. Ermita was beaten by former Bureau of Customs Commissioner Tomasa Passable with a margin of 9 percentage points. Quezon first, Justice Secretary Agnes Divanadera is running for Congress. Divanadera resigned as Justice Secretary on February 25, 2010, after the Supreme Court ruled appointive officials running for office are deemed resigned. She will face incumbent Wilfredo Mark Inverga of the Nationalista Party. Inverga won the vote with 56% of the vote as against Divanadera's 42%.
Central Visayas. Bohol III, Agriculture Secretary Arthur Yap is running unopposed in the congressional race, currently the only cabinet member not facing opposition. About 25% invalid votes were recorded in the congressional election in the district. Cebu IV, Celestino Martinez III is the pending incumbent after Benhor Salambangan was unseated by the Supreme Court due to poll fraud. The case is under a motion for reconsideration. Martinez may not be seated until the last week of January as Congress will adjourn for election campaigning. Martinez was not able to take his oath in the plenary as Salambangan was able to hold on to the seat. Salambangan won with 67% of the vote. Cebu City II, incumbent Antonio Cuenco is in third consecutive term already and is ineligible for re-election. He was appointed as Secretary General of the ASEAN Interparliamentary Assembly AIPA, on February 4, 2010. Two of his three parties, Lacas Campi CMD and the Provincia Muna Development Initiative PROMDI, did not nominate a candidate to run in this district. However, the Kugi Uswag Subu Kusig nominated businessman Jonathan Guardo as their candidate which is affiliated with the Nationalista Party. Cebu City Mayor Tomas Osmeña, who is in his third consecutive as mayor and is ineligible for re-election as mayor, is running for Congress under the Liberal Party and its affiliate Bando Osmeña Pundit Kauswagen. Osmeña defeated Guardo by 64% to 35% of the votes cast. Eastern Visayas Leyte IV, actor Richard Gomez is running for Congress after being unsuccessful twice, disqualified in 2001 as a party list representative when Mamamayan Ayaw Sa Droga was disqualified after topping the elections, and in 2007 Senate elections where he failed to win enough votes to win a seat. Gomez was disqualified by the Comelec after failing short of the required residency requirement. He was replaced by his wife Lucy Torres Gomez. Torres Gomez S 56% won against Cadilla. S 43%. Davao Region. Compostela Valley First, Dacer Corbito case witness and former police superintendent Cesar Mancayo is running for the open congressional seat. He is running under the Axion Democratico which in a coalition with the Liberal Party. Mancayo lost the election to Maricar Apse, daughter of the incumbent Manuel Zamora with 38% of the vote as compared to Apse's 56%. Sox Sargon Sarangani, boxer Manny Pacquiao is aiming to win a congressional election after being beaten in South Cotabato in 2007 by Darlene Antonino Custodio. As such, he moved to Sarangani and is vying for its open congressional seat left by outgoing Representative Erwin Chingbian. Pacquiao is running his own people's champ movement which is co-endorsed by the Nationalista Party. He will face Rep. Chingbian's third brother, Roy Chingbian, a local businessman. Roy is co-endorsed by the local Sarangani Reconciliation and Reformation Organization and Lacas Campi CMD. Pacquiao won comfortably with two-thirds of votes cast. Party list Several party list organizations were delisted, added to the list, disqualified and relisted in the run-up to the election, most notably LGBT party Ang Ladlad which secured a Supreme Court injunction preventing Comelec from disqualifying them. Mikey Arroyo's nomination by Ang Galing Pinoy, a party representing tricycle drivers and security guards, and other personalities of the Arroyo administration that were nominated by supposedly underrepresented sectors had also been questioned. Defeated incumbents Open seat gains Antipolo's 2nd Legislative District, Independent Gain Bacolod's Legislative District, NPC Gain Vaseline's Legislative District, Independent Gain Batangas's 1st Legislative District, Liberal Gain Batangas's 3rd Legislative District, PMP Gain Benguet's Legislative District, Liberal Gain Bohol's 1st Legislative District, LDP Gain Bohol's 2nd Legislative District, Nationalista Gain 
Bukidnon 2nd Legislative District, Lakas Campi CMD Gain Bulacan's 3rd Legislative District, Liberal Gain Bulacan's 4th Legislative District, Liberal Gain Cagayan's 3rd Legislative District, Lakas Campi CMD Gain Cagayan de Oro's 1st Legislative District, PMP Gain Cebu City's 2nd Legislative District, Liberal Gain Ilocos Norte's 1st Legislative District, Nationalist Again Ilocos Norte's 2nd Legislative District, KBL Again Lanao del Norte's 1st Legislative District, Lacas Campi CMD Again Leyte's 4th Legislative District, Liberal Again Marinduque's Legislative District, Lacas Campi CMD Again Misamis Oriental's Legislative District, PMP Gain North Cotabato's 2nd Legislative District, Lakas Campi CMD Gain Pangasinan's 4th Legislative District, NPC Gain Parañaque's 1st Legislative District, Liberal Gain Patero's, Taguig's Legislative District, Liberal Gain Quezon City's 1st Legislative District, Liberal Gain San Juan's Legislative District, PMP Gain Sarangani's Legislative District, Nationalist Gain Sorsogan's 2nd Legislative District, Liberal Gain South Cotabato's 2nd Legislative District, NPC Gain Tarlac's 1st Legislative District, NPC Gain Results Graphical representation of the results, top bar represents seats won, while the bottom denotes the proportion of votes received. Asterisk 1 party won 3 seats while 11 parties won 2 seats each, asterisk asterisk 31 parties won 1 seat each, asterisk 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 135 parties did not win a seat. District elections in district elections, the candidate with the highest number of votes in the district wins that district seat. Even prior to the election when Lakas Campi CMD members switched parties to either the Liberals or the Nationalists, they still suffered the biggest seat losses, although they still retained the plurality of seats in the House. The Liberals and Nationalists all gained seats but will not surpass the number of Lakas Campi seats. Lacas Campi also tallied the most votes, but had a disproportionate number of seats won 38% of the vote as compared to 45% of the district seats. A total of seven independents won in the House. Details Shading refers to the party that won a plurality of seats. Party list election in party list elections, parties nominate three persons to be their candidates, ranked in order of which they will be seated if elected. Candidates from the district elections are not allowed to be nominated by the parties participating in the party list election, nor are parties who have candidates in the district elections may be allowed to join the party list election. The parties in the party list election must represent a distinct sector in the society such as women, laborers and the like. In the election, the voter elects the party, not the nominees of the party closed list. If the party surpasses 2% of the national vote, the person first nominated by the party will be seated. Additional seats can be won depending on the number of votes the party garnered in the election, see the formula, although a party can only win up to three seats. If there are still empty seats, parties with less than 2% of the vote will be ranked in descending order, then will have one seat each until all of the seats have been filled up. On May 31, the leading parties in the party list election were declared by the Commission as winners, deferred are the parties not nominees, that have pending disqualification cases against them. According to Ang Galing Pinoy's proclamation, the party of incumbent Pampanga 2nd District Representative Mikey Arroyo was recalled as Arroyo has a pending disqualification notice against him, and he is their number one nominee. 
Key, italicized, incumbent representative, bold-faced, elected representative, asterisk There are more nominees listed in case one of the first three nominees are either disqualified or are removed from office. In some instances, the parties submitted two lists, in those the cases, the second list submitted is listed. Aftermath Several congressmen-elect have already defected to the Liberal Party as response to Noinoy Aquino. S. Victory in the presidential election. This comes as Negro's Occidental representative Iggy Arroyo said that Lacas Campi CMD has the number to elect his sister in law and representative elect President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo as Speaker as she is pushed by to run for the Speakership. Congressman elect and former Speaker Feliciano Belmonte Jr., formerly of Lacas Campi, has emerged to be the Liberal Party. S. Leading candidate for Speaker. The anti Arroyo representatives have formed the Conscience and Reform Corps coalition to strengthen their ranks, however, Arroyo had repeatedly declined Lacas Campi's prodding to run for Speaker. Three Lacas Campi congressmen instead made themselves available to run for Speaker Edsel Lagman, Alve, Danilo Suarez, Quezon, and Elpidio Barzaga Jr., Dismarinas, in a party caucus. It was agreed upon that while Arroyo, will still call the shots, Lagman will run for the speakership, and if elected, will serve for the first 18 months, then Suarez will serve the remainder. On June 25, the Liberal Party swore in congressmen as new members, mostly defecting from Lacas Campi. Most Lacas Campi congressmen jump red ship after Arroyo declined being their party's candidate for speaker. With the House. Tradition. In which congressmen align themselves with the party of the president, Belmonte now has at least 150 congressmen pledging support for him, including 75 from the Liberal Party, members of the Nationalist People's Coalition (NPC), Nationalistas, PDP Laban, party list groups, and some 55 members of the Lacas Campi Independent Bloc. The House of Representatives convened on July 26, with Joseph Emilio Abaya, Cavite, nominating Belmonte for Speaker, Rodolfo Albano, Isabella, Danilo Suarez, Quezon, and Augusto Sijuca, Iloilo, nominated Lagman. Belmonte was elected Speaker with 227 votes, while Lagman got 29 votes. Asterisk Belmonte and Lagman voted for each other. Special elections Bulacan 1st, November 13, 2010, incumbent Ma. Victoria Sai Alvarado won with almost 70% of the vote over Roberto Pagdanganan. Note that this is considered a part of general election, only that it was delayed for several months. Cagayan 2nd, March 12, 2011, Florencio Vargas of Cagayan's 2nd District died prior to the convening of Congress. A special election was held with Vargas. Daughter, Baby Aline Vargas Alfonso beating Edgar Lara. Alocos Sir 1st, May 28, 2011, Ronald Singson of Alocos Sir. S. 1st District resigned after being convicted of drug possession at Hong Kong. Singson's brother, vegan Vice Mayor Ryan Singson beat Randy Batterina at the special election. Zambales 2nd, February 4, 2012, Antonio M. Diaz of Zambales. S. 2nd District died. Governor Hermogenes Ebdane. S. Son Jun Omar Ebdane beat Cheryl Deloso Montala at the special election. Negros Occidental 5th, June 2, 2012, Ignacio Arroyo of Negros Occidental's 5th District died. Binalbagan Mayor Alejandro Mirasol beat Emilio Yulo 3 at the special election. References External links Official website of the Commission on Elections Official website of National Movement for Free Elections NAMFREL. Official website of the Parish Pastoral Council for Responsible Voting PPCRV. Results Philippines 2010 election results, main site Philippines 2010 election results, alternate site
PPCRV map viewer, PPCRV encoded site, PPCRV map viewer, PPCRV site, NAMFREL 2010 parallel count, NAMFREL site. Holland 2010, latest Comelec official results, ABS CBN site ELEKSYON 2010, national election results tally, GMA site ELEKSYON 2010, regional election results tally, GMA site The vote 2010 election results tally, Bombo radio site Media websites Holland 2010 election coverage by ABS CBN. Alexian 2010 election coverage by GMA Network. Patal Ng Bayan, Auto Vote 2010, election coverage by NBN4, RPN9, and IBC13.